Action. <laughs> Eat tight. Turn to the deep end up. Oh my god, I didn't even open these. No. Is that squid or mushroom? I don't know what it is, I've just got it. I think it's squid. Oh. I think you've uh, organised a decent spread. Nice. Alright, welcome back guys to another episode of... Kamal and Dilara Eat. You already know my name is Kamal and this is my gorgeous wife in marriage. Her name is Dilara. Guys, this week we are doing sushi plus marriage Q&A. So I mm. did today, it's just a cheeky today, one. It's a cheeky one. Post on my story, we are going to do marriage Q&A. So this I've was got, a spontaneous one. I've actually one. got some really good questions. Really? Really, really happy. How many hours ago did you post that? Let's see. Because we were texting while Six I was, hours ago. Six hours ago. We were texting, texting while I was at work. Yeah. And you were like, dude, we've got to do the mukbang. Yeah, because I was thinking like, what am I going to make for dinner tonight? And then I was like, hold on. Friday, had, Friday had the night, Saturday with the parent in-laws. And then Sunday is our upload day. So. You're a monster. So, I completely forgot. Are you hungry? But that's why I've chosen the best partner in marriage. <laughs> get it? Because we're talking about marriage Q&A. Yeah, 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 I get it. Swiss. Okay, do you want to uh, eat first and then we answer some questions? Um, absolutely easy. Yeah, I'm you hungry? I'm going to say something. I apologize for my vomited... I can't speak. Can't You're a speechy. Help me out here. You're a speechy. Help me out. Like I, I, I apologize for my vibe in advance as I'm an absolute train wreck cuz. Now let me ask you a question before we get into the Q&A. Is that mushroom or squid? Ah, uh, I can't tell. Ah, uh, I honestly can't tell. It can't be mushroom. I don't know. It's too solid, but it's delicious. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Anyway. Okay. Gonna, this is crispy chicken with mayo. And then I bought a platter box. What is this? It's chicken teriyaki. Oh, is it? Or roast yeah, beef? Yeah. No. No, because that's chicken so teriyaki. So vegetarian. Oh, oh it's tofu. Vegetarian. Oh. Do I look like Sorry, that's what they had. So this is tuna yummy. avocado, avocado, crab and avocado, mm. salmon avocado mayo, prawn avocado mayo, chicken avocado mayo, and vegetarian. Vegetarian. That's a nice spread. Yeah, and then this one is crispy chicken with mayo. This is from Sushi Sushi. Just let's let's give them a bit oh, of Oh, also, yeah, Sushi Sushi in Broadie, Broad Meadows. The, I don't know if he's the franchise owner or the chef. Very, very nice. Probably the nicest sushi sushi chef that I've come across. Really? Every time oh, I he, order something, he's like so smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking about. He's the tall man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So is he nice. tall or is the shop just like... No, nah, he's actually tall. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm gonna... Um... Oh, he put first, ginger here. First bite salmon and first bite goes a long way. Mm. I reckon a few bites here and I'm, I'm on my way. And uh, the other night we had some leftover of the Wagyu. Actually, no, we didn't have leftover of the Wagyu. My boy Zef came over, Talara was away, and we got this sauce for it. I reckon this will go nice with this. Yeah, sushi. I'm gonna try it now. It's uh, rolled Vietnamese chili mayo. I reckon that'll be nice. Ginger. So I did the chili, what is it called? Chili mayo. Mm -hmm. And then ginger, as you know, my favorite, and soy sauce. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. Oh my god, let me get that prawn. Let me get some prawn on my chopstick, man. Seriously. Look at that, bro. Don't chat. A bit of spicy chili mayo. Mmm. Mmm. Good? Mm hmm. The sauce complements it well, actually. I have the pinions, bro. And you can never go wrong with a bit of seaweed. I should have got spicy sauce, yeah? Have never it. go wrong with a bit of seaweed from sushi sushi. Which one? The Pyrenees? Mmm. Mm. I'm saying I should have got spicy sauce from sushi sushi. That's okay. We're locked. We're, we're locked and loaded with spicy mayo in our home. Yeah. That's one thing that's come from the marriage. This is the vegetarian. <laughs> Perinase and soy sauce. So boring. And this is the chicken teriyaki. Was it boring? Mm. Which one was it again? Vegetarian. Dude, I don't know here. Yeah. I reckon just... It was online and I couldn't change it. So this is a decent sized box, yeah? How much did this all cost? $42. The box itself? No. Oh, just the box, yeah. And then the other stuff for $21, so... Um... How many hand rolls is this all together? I think it's 14. 14, 42, 5, that's alright. Yeah. Is it 14? Actually, yeah, that's actually good. Should I try the vegetarian and get it out of the way? Absolutely not. It's, uh... My favourite, if you know me, we've done sushi ones before, salmon and prawn, 
Stop it. I hate the crab. Well, uh, I hate that one too. Let me confirm my hate. Sorry. Um, I can use chopsticks. One sec. Oh, tuna avocado is my favorite. Yeah, the crab one is never. See, I hate this, but I just have to lock <laughs> it in here. How is it? It's actually better than usual, isn't it? <laughs> or maybe I'm just starving, yeah? Maybe. Hey, the salad today was proper. Really? With the beef. Lamb? With the lamb. Yeah. We'll go there one day together. Done. I reckon let's get into the questions because is there anything about you making me food at work and salads on tap? Someone said something about food. Like what they are. Uh, let's get into questions. Ah, but boys. Let me try this one. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay, let's get some questions. Mmm, the chicken. Mmm, that one's good. Mm. Mm. So apparently ginger is actually eaten as a um as a what? What's what do you call it when you like you change? A palate cleanser. Yes, 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 yes. A palate cleanser. cleanser. Look at me, bro. I didn't think you'd think of that. It's been a long day, and I'm here coming up with the answers. How'd you room. know that? I told you that, didn't I? You've mentioned it before. Okay. Yeah, you're the one that loves ginger. Ginger, you should know. But I like eat it with the sushi. All right. I reckon excuse my vibe and excuse my hair. Ashkin, look in the camera how that's looking. <laughs> that's not me, bro. Okay. <clears throat> first question. Take so it many away. Questions. I wish it was in order of like first, 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 and first, first. Isn't what? it? First first Isn't first. it? You can just go to the bottom. That's first. No, it's like rearranged it. Oh. Okay. I can't really say anything. You like the Instagram. Let's logo. go from the first top of the one because I think that was the first one I saw. <laughs> okay, someone said, "Is marriage over exaggerated?" And do you feel the same about your husband even after you're married? That's a question for you. Seven by oh, or oh, oh, like no, no, no. For both of us, is marriage over exaggerated? Like in what sense? I don't know, honestly, I think I like what about people, what people say about it. Okay, you might have to catch me up. What I do don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, is, is marriage well, like a... Uh, Over-exaggerated in the sense as to what we thought it would be. Overhyped. Overhyped? Or overrated as in like, overrated. Well, for white people, it's... For non... For people that... For white people, it's just moving out with a partner. Yeah. Like not out. not necessarily. Like, we get married and move out. It's like moving out with your best friend, bro. I don't understand the question. Okay, I think it means like, is it as bad as like you know some people say like it's like so different, like you meet yeah. someone new. No, no, no. Okay, it is. It, that is not over exaggerated. It is. It is a different life. Yeah. Okay. So what people say isn't over exaggerated. It's actually quite accurate. Well, if they say it's like, if they say it's like very different, yeah, it is. You go from living with your parents. Yeah. To living with, with the love of your life. Mm. Yeah. In a, in a good way though. I was always looking forward to this. Before I met Delara, I always used to say like, I can't believe one day, heck, I'm going to move out with a woman. Mm. Like before I met you, I was thinking like, isn't that mad? I think there's going to be more questions that like, like Spec go, into, ooh, go into detail of like mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. questions. Hold on my That side. was an extremely open-ended question. <laughs> However, we didn't understand the context. <laughs> It's a bad start, but we can only go up from here having fear. Alright. Sorry to whoever asked that. I'm sure they had something in mind, but not me, bro. The person who wrote this question I'm about to say was actually quite a feminist like myself. Maybe a little bit more. Quite feminist? Quite a feminist. Are you a feminist? I am, but she's a bit more than me. Me too. Okay, so, are you ready? How did you... <laughs> How quickly did the agitation against the male species set in, or has Kamal been amazing? Be honest here, what the hell? Who is that? Agitate against the male species, what are we? I Just understand, like, I like actually animal. understand. Okay, yeah, uh, wait, is there a question about the female species? Okay, well, vice versa. Go ahead. Vice versa. No, 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 this is your question. I'm waiting for the question. I'm, okay. not, I'm not here to Let create my own questions. I think being married to someone who lived alone, like without his parents, like lived outside of home before getting married, would have been different to someone like you, who's been with their parents for a really long time and used to the mum cat 
cleaning up behind you, cleaning your drawers, cleaning your room. I'm gonna need you to doing your laundry, I'm gonna doing need the dishes, you. I'm gonna need leaving you. your pre work, leaving uh, your pre leaving your protein shake with the water in the sink, bringing your lunch home, just leaving on the sink. I'm gonna need you to elaborate more. <laughs> about what? Essay style, pros and cons. About what? Uh, so are you agitated by me? No, no, no. I I, I think. What, shh, I'm shh. Go. I'm not agitated by you. I think that the male species is an interesting species. It's funny you say that, Allah. Is this, is this a debate? Uh, what about you? Agitation is towards female species. How could you say it? I've said this once and I'll say it again, man. I've said this once and I'll say it again. Women are an amazing kind yeah. of people. Yeah. An amazing species. And you're obviously extra special because you're my wife. And obviously there's genuine love there from my end. However, growing up, I always knew. Come at me in the comments as well. I actually don't mind that. Whoever asked this question, say something in the comments to this. The female species are of a different kind. They have a different way of thinking. Like, yeah. like completely, completely. I feel like there's so many like, like hidden things there in the mind that is just that there will never be an answer. Mm. Never, ever, ever. The women probably have the answer, but they'll keep it like this, locked away. But I, I, but to be honest, I'm actually not agitated with the with the female specimen I'm living with. I'm actually not. I'm actually really happy. I know some girls probably hate this, but I always wanted someone kind of like my mum. And like, and you kind of are like my mum, like in the way my mum acts with my dad. Mm. You're like her, you know. The things you're willing to do around the house, you're like her. Like not in a bathroom. <laughs> and so is all of the females watching this. <laughs> cut it, cut it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah, don't cut it. Don't cut it. Nothing to hide. Nah, but seriously, I want to. Nah, the way you deal, with the way my mom deals uh, with my dad is the way you deal with me. I'm joking. No one should come at him because that's fair enough. Because that's what you saw. That was your role model. Exactly, and it was. And I know, non-biased, it was a good role model. You know yeah. the way my mom is. Like the way cleaning up after you. No, 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 no. Forget about that. Forget about that shit. Your socks I, from the floor. No, no, no. I know your stories. Your mum told jeez, me. Jeez, jeez. I reckon forget about that. <laughs> I reckon forget about that side of it. You need to quickly clarify that I do things around this yeah, house. Yeah. Okay. Now he does. Now. Oof. Just now, babe. When we first moved in. Oh my god. Listen. When we first moved in, I was doing heaps. I went a bit downhill, and now I'm back. Ashton, I need you to be here. Yeah. When I was first in the house, hmm. wasn't I doing things? Yeah, you were. You were, but that's because we were stuck in quarantine. Dude, one day, so after I'm I, working at the moment, she's not. No, no, listen, when we were stuck in quarantine, yeah, we did a whole day of cleaning. And he was like, I can't believe we just did a whole day of cleaning. Right, it was crazy. And then after that, you started like realizing like what's actually need to be done in the house. I reckon you actually made it sound way worse. Is it like that? No, okay, so let me tell you guys, okay? So Kamal, like, would. Okay. Okay, first and foremost, for example, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Like, I'm, I'm pretty organized, like, I have everything set in stone, like, there's like a system in the house, okay? The water bottles go in the, we have, we have, the water bottles go in the fridge, okay? So, like, Kamal can take water to work, like, cold water to work. He takes the water bottle up into our room and doesn't bring it down. I get thirsty before bed then, I don't get it. So, bring the water bottle back down, now there's no water in the fridge. So next time I go to bed, I'm gonna have to like it's just gonna keep happening. Why don't I just keep it? Okay, so why do I have to bring it down? Why you don't? You say ah, I'm leaving it there for four or five days just to see if he did it. <laughs> and I'm saying, well, I'm still after four or five days. I'm still gonna have the same general thirst so I'm when not, I'm in bed. Okay, well, you're gonna have to fill up warm water from the tap then. Not my problem. I just clocked what today is. Ask the next question. <laughs> Ask the next question. Wallah, I just clocked it, man. Ask me something. What do you find most difficult about being married? Ladies first. Most difficult about being married? Oh no, you go. I think, oh, I'll tell you. The most difficult thing is, for example, when I, before I got married, like we'd clean the house with my whole family. We'd all share a load. Whereas I have to do all my first stuff right now. And I have to do the laundry right myself. That is actually... That, I, like, I just have to do everything. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I, like, it just... I have to do everything. I'm a housewife now until I can until I start working. What about you? What's the <laughs> <laughs> I 
Wait, she does everything. Like, there's nothing I do here. Yeah? <laughs> you work. <laughs> Why are you getting angry? What? Are you, what? I actually can't believe this, bro. Why? Bro, we will eat a meal and I will clean the dishes. Like, she will cook oh, yeah, a meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, no, no, no. Dead okay, set. Okay, I don't okay. even. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, like, like it hasn't even been mentioned there. Like, it just sounds like heck. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a piece of. Sit the bitch yourself, bro. No, because I can't believe you're saying that. Tell... I actually can't believe she's saying this. I actually. Like, you didn't mention that. What else do I do? Dude, I offer to do the dishes after I've, like, made something in the kitchen as well. And you will say, no, nah, let me do it. And now you're going to say, because you don't do it right, I'm going to have to do it again. Yeah. She went away for a weekend, the hen's weekend. She came back. The house was cleaner than when you left at Habibti. Zev came and we were there and we were here and we were outside and we used this and we used that. All tidy, bro. And then you did the laundry, and then I had to. I did the laundry. You the laundry, but I had to redo it because there's no problem. No, because she's a she's got OCD or something. I don't know. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. They're gonna think I heck. I put it like that. It was folded, but she has a certain four fold technique that you need. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You shut up. Oh my god. But the salmon's popping. No, but everyone will understand me when I say that. About the folding technique. Anyway, what else do you find difficult about marriage? Let's go back to the agitated question. Are you agitated with me? No. I hope not. Okay, go tell me. What's difficult about marriage? Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't say it's difficult, but oh, it kind of is difficult in a sense to adjust into it. Like there's a whole other person you have to take into account at every single moment. Yeah, and it's not like, like, like a lot of people say the first year of marriage is hard. I don't know if it's hard, but it's like, it's not hard. If you're living with this person, it's like you have to like, you know, you just have to adjust your lives according to this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you adapt to different cultures? All my friends in this area are Turkish. <laughs> so. I, I think Kamal and I's family culture and our family settings, like the way we do things, is very similar. Like how our parents have raised us and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and like the way we just like, yeah, I reckon it's very similar, like the way we like the way we communicate with other people, like what they've taught us. Mm -hmm. Culture-wise, our cultures are very similar anyway, and like my parents don't expect much from you in terms of culture, and no, no your parents don't expect much from yeah. me either. So, but we do embrace it at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I know, but like you know, when we go to each other's in-laws' house, like with the words we know, we'll use it. Yeah, yeah. type of thing, little crap. That's not really culture. It's like. Language. That's just like what we do for each other. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, we're not a very heavily cultured culture. So. We're like Aussie. <laughs> we're not. Yeah. Um. Aussie, okay. Aussie, Aussie, oi, 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 baby. Mm -mm. We say every night before we sleep, don't act like we don't. Mm. We'll be in bed, yeah, about to sleep, and I'll be like, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. So Lara will stand up in bed and be like, oi, oi, oi. Yeah, okay, I think so. Okay, is it stressful finding a nice place to live in and buying all the interior decor? No, it's easy as. What's well, easy? Like the interior. Who bought all the interior? Me. She didn't help me much, but I didn't mind because I had like a vision. <clears throat> what? Come on, I chose all the interior furniture. Yes. She did choose all the interior furniture, and if it was up to me, I would have had more of a say. What? Yeah. That's what I thought. What are you saying, bro? I say about what? Go, tell me one thing you don't no, want no, to no, say. No, no, you know what? I didn't have a say, but you picked, you picked the pieces. Because I said to you, I want it like light. I said, I, I, ideally, I wanted everything white. And you were like, nah. But like, it's the house is light. It's like she wanted like ugly acrylic white furniture, and I said, "There's no way." Imagine heck, the whole house Ew, white. Ooh, yuck! Not no. The way he's thinking, yuck. Anyway, the house is cream. And you know at weddings when you can get the white floor? Yeah, he wants that material on the furniture. I wanted to get HD event hiring for the whole year. Come on. No, how was it, baby? All all jokes aside, because you actually didn't. No, it's not hard. Like once you find a style that you like, it's not hard to find the furniture. But the uh, hard thing is like. Sometimes the furniture, the style you like can be very expensive. Mm -hmm. Like, like the style that's trendy now is actually quite expensive. So you've got to find pieces that still match that style, but not obviously that fits your budget. Mm -hmm. no? I think you enjoy doing it. Mm. It was also fun. 
I already stressed is like everything's coming late. Like we don't have a dining table yet. Yeah, far out. Are you guys thinking about getting a baby? Not anytime soon. <laughs> We're not gonna get a baby. O honestly, not anytime soon. But inshallah, here one day. Guys, do you want me to tell you something? I posted a story. If you saw it, it's like I was wearing a purpley dark red dress, and a lot of people replied to my story saying, "Are you pregnant?" That is no. mad. Number one. Number one. That is so really rude. rude. That is so. Number rude. two. I'm not pregnant. Okay, I didn't reply to anyone about that because that's actually really rude. Also, it's just my belly. Like my belly. Like everybody has a belly. Like my lower belly, you know? Oh my god, it was actually really demoralizing. I was like, oh my god, people can actually see my belly and they're telling me it was a pregnant baby. Pregnant baby, pregnant woman. Anyway. How are you feeling in those moments that the KD friend can be more respectful next time? Do you know there was one person that was being really mean to me in the in my in the DMs? Guys like really rude. I just blocked them. Today, yeah, that one. Yeah, they're all going nuts. So they're all going nuts, but it happens. Mm. Who organized dinner meals and who actually cooks dinner? Me. Always me. Does he fart a lot now? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> With the dinner question. Mm. She'll cook dinner, mashallah. Have I ever cooked anything? Nah, uh, have you? I cook the pasta. The ravioli. Oh yeah. And I made like garlic butter toasty. Yeah. No, no, garlic. What is it? Cheesy garlic toast. And I made fish bites as well. Oh yeah, I remember that. That sounds like I'm a shock. <laughs> What'd you really say, baby? <laughs> no, no. So she makes dinner, and then she also like my food for for work is sorted, man. Like even my students are saying like. Like, oh my god, you have the best lunch every day. <laughs> it's just like salad with a different type of meat every day and like fruit, like a big fruit ball. That was a fruit ball to me. The mini kiwis, oh. I really like I'm that. I'm my second wife. Did you realize I left the seed in the lychee thing? Yeah. Was it alright? And I sucked it dry off the, off really? the seed, yeah. So good, man. I bought this new fruit called, new fruit called achacha. And it's like a mix between like lychee and peach. But the texture is like lychee. Do you like this? No. It's so good. Does he fight a lot now because he's comfortable? We've been having fight competitions since 2019. Mm -hmm. And we met in 2017. <laughs> fight competitions. End of 2017. Sorry. Fight competitions and it's like, I'm Man City and like she's Liverpool. So it's like, it's competitive. <laughs> um, do you like your wife's food? I love my wife's food. I cannot complain about my wife's food. Blink if you need help. Blink if you're starving. I'm not gonna blink, but I do love my wife's food. Come on. How do you and your husband manage finances? Okay, I don't work right now, so. <laughs> so I just pay everything. So come on, I'll just pay everything. Um, but yeah, I think that everyone's finances are different. So like everyone. And YouTube and YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah and YouTube, and like everyone would obviously manage their finances differently, but. Obviously, when I start working, it will be different. Like we'll be having like obviously like a savings account and a spending account. Like a joint so, account. Yeah. Um. What does Kamal or Delara do that annoys you both? What do I do that annoys you both? Annoys me. This does annoy me. This does annoy me a lot. She says she's scared to be home alone at night. I'm not going out every night, but you know sometimes I'll have soccer or something, and she says she's scared to be. Come on, everybody's the same. Drop in the All comments. my friends that I've spoken to are the same. Drop in the comments if you're the same. What do you do that annoys me? Oh That's a pretty good Oh my god, thing. when I'm cooking in the kitchen and you come next to me. Oh my god. <laughs> Just get out. Okay. Girls, in the comments, is that a problem, man? Like you're going and literally giving your wife company. Going in the kitchen, going on the couch, little hugs and kisses there, back on the couch. It's, it's a good time. This is like. Not when I'm cooking, me. bro. Don't call me bro, bro. Yeah, we'll do one more question and we'll wrap it up. How is it emotionally getting to know every aspect of your partner straight after marriage? How is it what? Say it again. How is it emotionally getting to know every aspect of your partner straight after marriage? I think that it takes a t while to figure out, like, every aspect. You don't just know someone. <laughs> But we've been like we've been together for. It's not like it's not like it was like we met and got married like straight away. Straight away. We've known each other for a while. We've had time to spend time together, get to know each other. 
But then again, living with each other, living with each other as well as a, you do see more as well. I reckon, I reckon I know you back to front. Yeah, but how? But no one knows the no. I I think I know you back to front. How do you feel emotionally about that? So emotionally, it hasn't been too much of a toll on me because I know you back to front. However, no one knows the real me, so I don't know how you're feeling. How are you feeling, babe? It must be difficult. Bro, I know that <laughs> I know you inside and out, bro. I can even tell like when you're not telling the truth. How? How? Come on. How? Oh, you're so annoying, bro. <laughs> Why did you just get cut? <laughs> <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> no, no, honestly, emotionally, I feel like I do know you pretty well. And I feel like you probably know me pretty well. Do you feel like it's an emotional burden? Nah. How is I it emotional? I think overall, we've just, I think overall, like, we've known each other for a while, right? So, like, and I think me and you have always been, like, comfortable next to each other. We've always been open about, like, each other. So, like, like, there wasn't, like, someone asked a cat. Like has Kamal changed after marriage, but like you haven't. Like it's the same. We're the same people after marriage, and I can understand where that question comes from because there are actually people who change after marriage. Like they hide their real personalities, and it's like someone else when they get married. But um, yeah, I, like I don't think I've changed. No, you haven't you, changed. You haven't changed. Like you're the same. Like we're if, the same people. The difference is like we're together all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. It's the same people, but it's just like intensified <laughs> being next to them. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's. So like, cool. am I always like being silly? But half the time. Yeah, half the time. And then the other half, I'm like, in sleeping. bed. <laughs> bro, I'm averaging five out. Bro, sleeping. No, like, you're like, bro, you're bro, like, sleep. bro, like sleep. in the bed. Bro, sleeping. We're about to sleep. I'm like, putting my alarm on for 5.45, 6, 6.15, like three alarms. And she's like, what time should I wake up tomorrow? I'm going to put 10. <laughs> that, that was last night. She's like, I'm going to put 10. And I was like, are you saying that to like, give it to me? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> Do you know how painful that is, man? Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> nah, alhamdulillah. How's marriage been overall? Let me ask yeah, you. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Be honest. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Blink if I need help. Nah, it's been good. It's been good. Yeah. Honestly, it's it's been good for me as well, man. It's everything I've got. Also, ever I think it's really more. important like you understand each other's love language. So you can like give that to them. Like Kamal's like a physical love, loves physical touch, okay, and I hate it. But I try to give that to him so he can be happy. <laughs> and I like to be left alone, so Kamal gives me my me time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? No, nah, that's fair enough. And what's your what's your what's your love language? Um, because every week it seems to be changing. <laughs> no, nah, it's acts of service. That means. Do you know what that means? That means you like to be receiving acts of service. I, I like and that's why I offer to do the dishes, offer to help with this, offer to help with that. Yeah, but I, I like to give acts of service. No, you got love language all wrong, but we'll have a chat about that. Oh my goodness, okay. I love how the purple, this matches my under eye colour. Mm -hmm. We're matching, by the way. I'm like an Aldi version of Jack Grealish right now. Oh my god, so funny. Who's Jack Grealish? Don't worry about it. So good, you live. I reckon if you enjoyed the video, enjoy like the, if you enjoyed the video, enjoy the video. <laughs> I'm rattled after this one. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell to anyone you like about the video. Have you there's anything you'd like to say? Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. What's our Instagram? Command Delara E. And what's your personal? Delara C and Scott. And what's mine? Command Zika. Thank you very much. Take care and goodbye. Bye guys!